we are live now you can start okay so we have almost nine people joining us today so uh, so welcome all once again a warm welcome uh, we'll be doing the question and answer session of the teachers day quiz that we conducted q company uh, I hope it was a very easy quiz for everyone. Everyone had a fun time. Uh, okay. So uh, yeah. Uh, so, um, so all of all of all of those who have joined, you can comment your answers in the YouTube chat, uh, and you can the questions will be displayed on screen, and you can comment your guesses in the chat. So uh, before starting the session. Uh, a few words uh, about Q Company. Um, so we are uh, an infotainment enterprise. Uh, we do quizzes for schools, uh, corporates, for quiz clubs, uh, and all, for all sorts of establishment. And so, and we all and we do uh, periodically Google Form quizzes. And so uh, this was the first Google Form quiz for the month of September on on Teachers Day. And okay, that's it. Uh, okay, we can begin. So, uh, so this is actually this is not our uh, this is not in the our Google Form set, but I thought it's quite appropriate to begin with this quiz on Teachers Day. So the question is: uh, He was an admirer of Tagore and believed Tagore's philosophy to be the genuine manifestation of the Indian spirit. His first published book was titled The Philosophy of Rabindranath Tagore. Identify this great personality who was nominated for the Nobel Prize for Literature multiple times. Uh, you can comment your answers in the YouTube, in the YouTube chat. Um, so all those who have joined, you can comment your answers in the YouTube chat. Uh, there are around 11 people joining our event. So who is this uh, personality who was uh, nominated for the Nobel Prize for Literature multiple times? Yeah, and his first published book was uh, about the philosophy of Rabindranath Tagore. Uh, yeah, who is this personality? Um, not seeing any answers coming up you can comment your answers in the chat box no answers coming up there will be a lag uh, so that's so wait for a minute then see the yes, answers sir. And yes, then sir. yes sir yes sir Is this a very appropriate question to begin a teacher's day quiz? We have 14 people joining us now. Uh, for all those who have uh, came just now, um, you can comment your answers uh, for the questions that is being displayed on the uh, on the screen as YouTube comments. So, who is this personality whose first uh, published book was the philosophy of Rabindranath and the Tagore? And who was also nominated for a Nobel Prize for Literature multiple times. So, Siddha, people have started answering Ramakrishnan, Akash Gupta, Archit, Deep Jyoti, okay. Dutta. Actually, uh, you know, it has not appeared in my screen. That's why, uh, okay. Um, Just refresh it. Okay.
or or stay in the same screen i'll just read out the answers ramakrishnan has said sajid satyajit ray akash gupta answered radha krishnan archit j deep jodi datta said radha krishnan dr s radha krishnan ramakrishnan danganathan said bankim chandra chatterjee usha tv said radha krishnan and rituraj kalita said dr sarvapalli radha krishnan so many people getting the answer right the answer is indeed uh, dr radha krishnan yeah we can go to the next question so we'll begin the proper quiz and we'll begin with question number 1 so uh, okay so this is about personality um, so uh, he is a former alumni of california institute of technology uh, who specialized in x-ray crystallography during his graduate years uh, so his research on proton radiography led to another team of scientists winning the nobel prize for 1985 this brilliant career was followed by a relatively obscure stint as a great teacher during which he got himself entangled in rather shady business with his former student so i just want uh, want to know who is this teacher so who is the person being described here who has who has done his research on proton radiography x-ray crystallography akash And also yeah yeah okay let us see the comments akash gupta has answered alan joseph shaji has answered that was a funny one alan joseph has a comment here he saying it's a funny question so both of them said walter white akash gupta and alan joseph okay any more guesses coming up no only two guesses okay i think we can close the question yeah so there is indeed uh, Walter White or Heisenberg in the famous uh, Netflix series Breaking Bad. So I think uh, that's a very, uh, very proper question to begin. A very funny question to begin with. We can move on to the next question. Okay. So, um, so this is about uh, a place in Italy called San Lorenzo. So in the beginning of the 19th century, uh, San Lorenzo was one among the most uncivilized areas in Italy. as part of renovation projects which happened later on its entire infrastructure was rebuilt step by step however uh, the wild and unkempt children of the town's residents presented a problem as they damaged the buildings hence there was an urgent need of confinement of this unruly bunch so what came into being out of this whole scenario what became established uh, out of this she hari what, what came yeah she hari has given a guess ramakrishnan ranganathan has given a guess alan joseph shaji has given has made a guess let's probably wait for 30 more seconds for yeah, people to yeah many guesses are coming yeah uh, sri hari has guessed uh, ramakrishnan ranganathan alan joseph shaji shubhajit sen gupta ishita das yes okay five guesses came okay. i think uh, shri hari has uh, came with the correct answer uh, he came first with the correct answer so this is the i think we can close the question this is indeed the first montessori school or the or the casa di bambina so it was established in italy uh, in san lorenzo Uh, this, this was the first Montessori school, and as you all know, Maria Montessori she pioneered uh, uh, the kindergarten education. She revolutionized uh, the way in which the the education of the preschool children is done. Yeah, so we can move on to the next question. So, congrats to all those who have given the right answer. Sri Hari Ramakrishnan, Alan Joseph Shaji, sorry, Sri Hari Ramakrishnan, Shubhajit Singh Gupta. Shita Das and W R forty twenty, so all of them have given the correct answer. Okay, uh, the third question: uh, the first plank was developed in the nineteen eighties by Mr. Christopher, specifically for dyslexic individuals who studied agriculture science, because of the fact that Latin plant names are difficult to write. So, which modern teaching tool are we talking about? So what came about? 
what was established by Mr. Christopher specifically for dyslexic individuals who studied agricultural science because of the fact that the Latin plan names are difficult to write. Um, very commonly used in our education system. More or so in the 21st century. Rituraj Kalita has given the guess are writing with both hands. No, not writing with both hands. Particularly relevant in the 21st century, what modern teaching tool? Rituraj Kalita has given the answer typewriter, not no, not typewriter. So focus on the fact that uh, these are made for the dyslexic individuals uh, uh, because of the fact that the plan names were very difficult to write. So what substitute came about or was developed an education tool? Uh, one nine BP uh, Vishal is saying mnemonics. Ramakrishna Ranganathan saying projects. No. So most of us might have encountered at least once in lifetime this thing okay no correct answer mm -hmm. deep jutta the architects inspired by nature to build buildings no any more guesses something uh, almost everyone of us has done in school or in college or um, and even in some quizzes maybe yeah not flashcards yeah i think we can close the question so this is nothing but online MCQ test. Oh, MCQ test via computer was developed by developed by Mr. Christopher for the first time for dyslexic individuals who studied agriculture science. This is the online MCQ test. Uh, a bit tough one, I guess. Okay, we can move on to the next question. So, okay, so you can see some, uh, yeah, you can see the covers of some a series of books. So, these were published in the uh, 2018 to celebrate the 30th anniversary of a famous fictional student. So, it reimagines blank as a grown up woman donning different roles that is astrophysicist, world traveler, uh, a CEO at the British Library. So which famous fictional character is this in the grown up, as a grown up woman? Lots of answers coming up and most of them correct. Akash Gupta gets it correct first. It is indeed Matilda. Ishita Sakya, Srihari SSWR4020, Ramakrishna Danganathan, Shubhajit Sangupta, Tripti Ishita, um, Tripti, yeah, yeah, by Roldal, Matilda by Roldal is indeed the right answer. This is indeed Matilda by Roldal. Okay. Um, okay, this is Matilda by Rudal. Lots of correct answer. We can move on to the next question. So, okay. Um, question number five. So, uh, so, this is a screenshot from a movie, um, from a Malayalam movie, uh, Life is Beautiful. So, um, the Mohanlal plays the lead role of a personal teacher. So, 
I want to know what served as an inspiration for this film. Focus on the image. Akash Gupta has said an answer. Yes, WR4020, Trupti. They, they have come up with guesses. What served as a partial inspiration for this film? The image is a big help. Okay, no more guesses. Okay, this is indeed, uh, yeah, so I think um, we can close it. Akash Gupta, WR4020, and Tripti getting it right. It is indeed uh, the Dead Poet Society. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so this is indeed the film Dead Poet Society. Can move on to the next question. Okay. Um, okay. The Carpe Dime school chain of schools in US are known for. Okay, the carpet and chain of schools in the US are known for promoting computer-based and personalized learning which suits the specific needs of the individuals. The design of classrooms also resonate this motto and hence is different from that of traditional schools. So classrooms are divided into blank and it might remind you of an entirely different establishment. So fill in the blank, so lots of correct answers. Akash Gupta, Sri Hari, Ishita, WR4020, Ishitata, Shubhajit Sen Gupta, Ramakrishnan, Rahul Mohanty, Tripti. Okay, this is indeed cubicles. Classrooms are divided into the cubicles. So we have an office model of education and more uh, computerized education, personalized learning, and hence. The cubicle nature of the classrooms is quite appropriate for their uh, type of education. Yeah, it's just in the cubicles. Mm, I think there's a, a bit lag in the transition of slides. Please bear with it. Uh, okay, next question. Okay, so this is about a logo. The circular logo of this national body was adapted from an Ashokan era relic excavated from Raichur, Karnataka. So it shows three intertwined white grains, each symbolizing a particular aspect about the organization. So, which national body are we talking about? Uh, WR4026 CBC, uh, Hari is saying NCRT, Ramakrishna Ranganathan is saying Indian Chartered, Chartered Accountants Association, Association of India. Ishita is saying NCRT, Tripti is saying NCRT, 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 lots of NCRTs, and it is indeed NCRT, the answer is indeed NCRT. This is the loop of NCRT, the three intertwined cranes, the National Council for Education, Research and Training, the NCRT. We can move on to the next question. bit lag in the transition of slides. Um, the question will come up on screen. Um, okay. So 
this is a screenshot from a TVF video uh, released on a Teacher's Day as a tribute to two personalities, X and Y. You can see, uh, actually, this is Gajraj Rao uh, in the video. This is a video from the screenshot. We, this is a screenshot from the video. So the content can be summarized as follows. Uh, a reporter goes on to interview X, only to be perplexed by the seemingly unnecessary precision X brings on in doing simple household chores. So the video also features X's neighbor Y, who lives in a house vertically opposite to that of X. So who are X and Y? The order does not matter. You can jumble up the order. It's X and Y. Very familiar if you have been an IIT JE aspirant. Or yeah, very familiar. Or even familiar through our tenth standard education. Okay, lots of answers coming up. Uh, Akash Gupta saying R.D. Sharma and H.C. Verma. Shita saying R.D. Sharma and H.C. Verma. So, okay, lots of correct answers. And this is indeed R.D. Sharma and H.C. Verma. You can see the uh, the there is a on the door you can see Thanpat Rai publications. Yeah, so that's a big room. And also the room number spelling of the pi, the value of the pi 3.141592. And if you closer look, you can see that there's a square root and the square root and uh, there's a square root set. The answer is indeed uh, R V Sharma and H C Verma familiar to many of us, great teachers, um, a tribute question to two of two of two to these great teachers. Okay, moving on to the next one. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, so nicknamed as the Kothe Bands, uh, X was designed by a school teacher. So X has four components. Red represents the struggle for independence. Yellow depicts the light of freedom. Green about the agricultural prosperity. And blue representing the black. So I want you to identify what X is, which has been designed by a school teacher. And what is the blue? in X represent. Okay, lots of guesses coming up. Akash Gupta, Archit J, WR4020, Ramakrishna Ranganathan, Shubhajit Sengupta, Rahul Mohanty. What is X and what does the blue represent? Okay, I think we can close it. Lots of correct answers. This is indeed the the flag of Mauritius and the blue representing the Indian Ocean. Lots of correct answer. Hmm, okay, mm -hmm. we can go on to the next question. Okay, so next question. So this institution was established in Dayton upon the wish of this gentleman after his death in the mid 1920s. So, which infamous event inspired him for such a cause? So, what propelled him for such a cause? For such an institution? For the establishment of such an institution? You can see the logo. It says Christ above all. Something has been blanked. Okay. Uh, okay. Akash Gupta, Archit Rahul Mohanty says Trinity. Shubhajit Sen Gupta, WR4020. Any guesses coming up? OK. 
Okay. So Akash Gupta gets this right. First, this is indeed the famous Scopes Monkey Trial. Yeah, so this is indeed this infamous Scopes Monkey Trial. The teacher was prosecuted for teaching evolution in the school, which is against the Christian beliefs of, of that time. Scopes Monkey Trial. We can move on to the next question. Okay, uh, I think it hasn't appeared on the screen. Anyway, I'll read it out. So X has had multiple achievements in his career. He published the first organized list of medicines of Amsterdam. The ileocecal valve at the junction between small intestine and large intestine was discovered by him. Apart from this, he was also the first clinician to describe a case of beriberi. However, he is familiar to all of us due to his role as a teacher or instructor. So who is this person? Yeah, he is familiar to all of us due to his role as a teacher or an instructor. But he has done so much. Yeah, he has done so much things, contributed so much to the uh, medicine. Mm, I'm not seeing any answers. Who is this person whom we know as a famous teacher or instructor? Amsterdam is a clue. Yeah. Mm. WR4020 says a doctor uh, A. Faust. No. Yes, I see two answers Akash Gupta and Archit J. Let us see for more guesses. Any more new guesses come up? Okay, I think we can close. This is indeed uh, Dr. Nicholas Tulk. We are familiar with him. And the protagonist of the famous painting, uh, The Anatomy Lesson of uh, Nicholas Tull by Rembrandt. So, this is Dr. Nicholas Tull. Very good answers by Akash Gupta, Archit Shubhajit Sen Gupta. We can move on to the next question. Mm -hmm. So, this is a, a kind of a basic question, but with Something it has something to do with today's theme. So, founded in 1834 uh, by William X in Glasgow, the company got its iconic title from the founder's surname. By 1884, it had rose to become one of the best in Scotland in its market. Over the years, its ownership have moved from its native land to UK and finally to a Japanese company. In 1997, it obtained some sort of infamity in India when it launched X50 in X50 in celebration of India's 50th year of independence. To identify X, what are we talking about? Something has something to do with today's theme. Think about that. I think the slide contains a very Evident clue. I don't know how many of you noticed it. So Ramakrishna Dangalnath is saying Benedict, Tripti is saying Christian E. Think about today's theme and yeah. So, so now I'm seeing only two answers. Any more guesses? Oh, 
okay i'm not getting more any guesses only two guesses till now and they're not right so what is this x okay we can close it this is indeed the teacher's whiskey uh, yeah so that was the teacher connection <laughs> okay so nobody gets it right we can move on to the next question okay uh, so this is a bit lengthy one uh, dr amin azam a professor and doctor at the university of california san francisco francisco school of medicine launched a unique and innovative elective course for his students the purpose of the elective was to prevent misconceptions related to health and diseases affecting the common man he intended to do that by focusing on a particular activity which is not something you usually associate medical students with through this course he has successfully managed to spark off interest across the world of medicine and has succeeded in correcting many mistakes so what is this course all about what was the objective of this elective course offered by dr asa yeah ishita shubhaji takash gupta ramakrishnan many guesses coming up Mm. What was the objective of this elective course offered by Dr. Azam? Okay, I think mm, Ishita Sakya gets it right first. This is indeed a correction of the Wikipedia pages about medical conditions. Shubhajit Gupta, Akash Gupta, Ramakrishnan, Jita Das all get it right. This is correcting Wikipedia pages about medical conditions. So usually they will have some error. The Wikipedia pages pertaining to medical conditions. So the course offers an editing course of Wikipedia pages regarding medical conditions. We can move on to the next question. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I know that there is a bit lag in the transition of slides. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Anyway, I'll read the read out the question. It will appear. Yeah, it has appeared. So, while deciding upon the names of the characters using the now iconic pattern. the creators had initially planned to name the central character after x this is considered due to the secretive yet highly impactful nature of both the character and x this idea was eventually dropped and the character went on to be known by all as y one possible explanation could be that it was to avoid any sort of religious tensions flaring up or it could be that this decision was taken to ensure this particular character could assume its distinctiveness and leadership in the cast so just identify x and y something everybody might be knowing What is X? What was the earlier name that was considered for the character, and the new name by which we all know the character? X is the old name, which is decided upon for the character. Y is the name by which we know know the character now. no cases coming up the third pair is very useful 
one possible explanation could be that it was to avoid any sort of religious tensions flaring up or it could that this decision was taken to ensure this particular character could assume its distinctiveness and leadership in the cast and think about the today's theme so i'll give you through it's from uh, yeah it's something to do with pop culture yeah think about uh, the theme today is this so rahul mohanty saying doctor who no not doctor who what is x and what is y so i think we can close this so i'm not seeing any guesses mm. so this is mm, yeah this is professor from money haste so an x is vatican city so the name is not chosen because of the religious tensions that could arise from naming the main character after the holy city x is vatican city and y is professor okay i think we can move on to the next question like half a one okay mm. okay next question. next question the introduction of x in the department of mathematics at yale university in the 1830s incited what later came to be known as the y rebellion among students so before x came students were allowed to refer textbook diagrams for exams this is not possible once x is very introduced students were especially worried about the specific topic y which is quite difficult to reproduce in exams without the aid of diagrams in textbooks so give me x and y the introduction of what led to all these developments and what was the rebellion called the y rebellion named after a specific topic in mathematics okay uh, answers coming up ishita ramakrishnan subhajit singh gupta giving answers ishita sakya singh chalkboard and why conic sections ramakrishnan singh chalkboards and chalkboards bar and rebellion Shubhajit and Gupta saying blackboards and conic sections. So yes, it is indeed. Everybody is correct. This is indeed the after the introduction of blackboard in the Yale University, the conic sections rebellion came about. So X is blackboard, Y is conic sections. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. okay uh, indian mythology question so according to indian mythology x was found along with his twin sister by king shantanu it is said that x and his sister were born out of an illegitimate relationship between sage paratwaj and a forest nymph they both were raised in shantanu's court alongside his son and x even went on to occupy a crucial position in the court later upon the arrival of y x had to relinquish his job to y who coincidentally married x's twin sister so despite these significant overlaps the relationship dynamics between x and y are not discussed in detail so identify x and y indian mythology question 
yeah lots of answers ramakrishnan ramanathan shubhajit ishita tripti archit shita sakya great answering so yes this is indeed x is kripacharya and y thona kripa sister was kripa and she was married to dronacharya so and both of them acted as the trainer for the pandavas and kauravas dronacharya succeeding kripacharya so correct so many correct answers x is kripa and y thona let's move on to the next question I think this is a bit tough one. Connect is a tough question. So, so you are seeing a set of four images. I think the yeah now the slide has come came. So you are seeing these four images, and they represent the solutions for a very famous musical riddle. So what exactly are are we talking about? you can see four items four a peacock a pomegranate uh, a corn green chili so what are these the famous solutions for a very famous musical riddle and yeah the answer has something to do with today's theme Ramakrishnan has came up with an answer. Mm. No other guesses apart from Ramakrishnan. what do these uh, images represent which famous solutions which do they represent okay i think ramakrishna has said the right answer so this is ichadana bichadana song from 3420 so nagis that uh, yeah she recites the song to the children with four riddles and these were the answers for the four riddles the answer is indeed ichatana bichatana from the movies 3420 okay next question okay uh, so you can see i think yeah the light has not came up in the screen came up on the screen can wait for some time um yeah so uh, shown here is a preserved specimen of a jessaud bowl used by uh, students of ancient egypt for reading and writing so as per historians uh, this one particular item contains the earliest known occurrence of what modern practice If you carefully look at the image, you can come up with an answer. W R uh, guessing it's exams. No, not exams. Ramakrishnan saying first notebook. No, not notebooks. Think about today's theme. and carefully look at the image try to find out the try to figure out something from the image
very uh, modern practice that you would associate with certain kind of professionals. Historians say, uh, so this is the first known evidence of this modern practice. So what are we talking about? What modern practice? I'm not seeing any guesses. W are seeing multiplication tables. Good guess. Yeah, it might appear as some multiplication table, the rows and columns. Yeah, it might seem like a multiplication table. No, not multiplication tables. Yeah, Akash Gupta, you have almost hit that target. So, can you be a bit more specific? A bit more specific. Nathan saying accounting. No, not accounting. Good guess, though. Okay, let's find the answer. So this is uh, the usage of red pen for correction. Something we very much associate with teachers, the usage of red pen for correction. So if, yeah. Okay, so, so let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's wait for some time for the slide to come up on the screen. Okay, okay. Um, at present, the Teachers Day of this country is on October 16. However, from 1967 to 77, it was observed on December 10 to commemorate the achievement of this lady. This image is shown. So, I want you to identify which country is this and what achievement. Uh, I don't want the name of the lady just the achievement would do ishita akash ramakrishnan ramakrishnan okay the many have came up with good guesses shubhajit sen gupta yeah so the date is a big clue december 10 which country and what achievement Which country and what achievement did she do? Okay. Okay, let's close this question. So, this is indeed from Chile. And the lady is Gabriel Mistral, and the famous South American author. So December 10 was the day when she received the Literature Nobel Prize. And thus, the government decided to observe this day as the Teacher's Day. The answer is Chile and Literature Nobel Prize. Let's move on to the next question. Okay. Wait for some time for the slide to appear. There's a bit lag. Okay, so sports question. So this gentleman whose image is shown had an illustrious career as a professional footballer in the Norwegian club line from 1984 to 1992. He also represented the Norwegian national football team from 88 to 89. However, his greatest achievement was to train and mold a champion X. So who is this champion X we are talking about? 
who is trained by this person. Akash Shupajit Ishita seeing coming up with cases. Yes, Nathan, uh, that's a slight lag yeah, between the transition of slides. Okay. Who is this champion X? Okay, we can close it. This is indeed Magnus Carlsen, world chess champion. Um, Akash Gupta gets the answer first. This is indeed Magnus Carlsen. Let's move on to the next question. I think the last question of the set. Let's wait for some time. There's an issue of lag in the slides. Okay. Yeah, it has appeared. Okay. The producer of the uh, ABC show, Nightline, was influenced by a news article. A professor's final course, his own death, create a three episode interview series on in 1995, somebody happened to watch the series and this resulted in a heart pump reconnection. What came out as a result of this reconnection? Lots of guesses coming up. WR4020 saying Hawking, not Stephen Hawking. Hmm. Yes, we can close it. Uh, this is indeed uh, Tuesdays with Mori by Mitch Album, the famous memoir about Mitch Album's sociology professor who was affected by ALS. This is indeed Tuesdays with Mori. And with this, we come to the conclusion of the set. Um, once again, I thank each and everyone for the amazing participation, for the great responses uh, in the Google Forms as well as the YouTube event. And I take this opportunity to thank uh, Nambiraj and Sir for giving us an opportunity to, yeah, to host the event in his YouTube channel. Thank you, Sir. Thanks, Siddharth. That was a well-researched question. The theme of teachers through pop culture, through Nobel Prizes. It was very well-researched. Thank you. So, thank you, sir. That's it. The results will be announced tomorrow morning in the event WhatsApp group. So, okay. Be safe, everyone. So, that's it. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye.